So what does the now pass health reform law mean for small businesses? It means huge changes are on the way for the way these companies buy and provide health insurance to their employees. Keep in mind the final rules could be changed by amendments in the Senate, but any of the provisions that affect small businesses will not kick in until 2014. For one thing, by 2014, states will have to set up small business health option programs. They're called shop exchanges. And that's where small businesses will be able to pool together to buy insurance. By the way, a small business here is being defined as a company with 100 employees or less. If a company grows beyond that, it will be grandfathered into the exchanges. Now, until 2014, companies with 10 employees or less who make, on average, no more than $25,000 a year will be eligible for a tax credit of 35% of health insurance costs. The tax credit will remain in place, increasing to 50 percent of costs for the first two years a company buys insurance through its state exchange. Also in 2014, companies with more than 50 workers must offer coverage or pay a penalty of $750 a year per full-time worker. Now, if the Senate does pass these amendments, this will be boosted to $2,000 per full-time employee a year. The company's health insurance offering would also have to meet a minimum level of benefits. The Congressional Budget Office says the exchanges will cut small business insurance costs by a bit, with premiums falling between 1 and 4 percent, while the amount of coverage would rise by up to 3 percent. So is anything effective immediately? Yes, a ban on lifetime limits on coverage and a ban on canceling policies, except in the case of fraud. For CNN Money, I'm Stephanie Elam.